Are you originally from Tucson? Yeah, born and raised from Tucson. Um, first generation out of the States. I, um, my mom and up, you know, from Mexico, from Morales, pretty much. I'll start. Yeah, my mom's from Tijuana and she came here and became a citizen. DJ? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my mom became a citizen too, like, and my grandma did too. Um, yeah. That's tight, bro. Hell yeah. And hey, what was your childhood like? Honestly, bro, uh, I can't sit here and say that my childhood was both pretty. I was raised right, bro. Like, my mom and dad made sure we had a roof and food on the table. And, you know, like, we, we definitely weren't. So you weren't bad. Like, you guys, you know, were, we you guys were well off. You guys were kind of well off. Yeah, we weren't like people that, you know, didn't have to worry about the rain. Had to worry yeah. About, like, you know what I'm saying? My dad, my dad did what he did, but at the end of the day, showed up to work, you know, showed up home from work, ate with us at the table. You know what I mean? Like, he, he was a family man. So, yeah, you know both your parents. Oh, you said he was your stepdad, right? Yeah, my step. So, my real dad, he got killed when my mom was like three months pregnant. Three months pregnant? Yeah, so I never laid eyes on the dude, bro. Damn. You, know you don't know what happened to him? Like, why he got killed or nothing? Uh, a lot of stories out there, you know what I'm saying? But he used to do his thing, too, so I'm pretty sure, you know. Yeah. He, so, he, yeah, so it, it is what it is. So, like, everything was good, your childhood, like, up until what point? Like, when did shit start changing? Um, Honestly, bro, it started changing when my dad got deported in 2008. Your stepdad, he got deported? My, yeah, yeah, he got deported, so, like... That pretty much my mom couldn't get She couldn't handle you by her, she herself. Yeah, yeah. She so I'm saying, kid, boys, they always need a father in their and life. And they do, bro. And it's yeah. like I tell my Some mom, women, like, they don't understand mm -hmm. that. They think they could be both roles, but it's like you can't. No, yeah, it is. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, guys, the testosterone, you know what I mean? Like, it's just women don't. Yeah, they don't have to stop. They don't have that. They don't drive, understand you know it. Yeah. I mean? Exactly. That, that. <laughs> to them, it's like, I can't believe something that small can control you like that. Well, you, you don't understand, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool, I get that, but... So, like, yeah. your parents were never, like, abusive, nothing? They didn't... They, no. they tried to keep you off drugs on the right path and everything? Yeah, yeah, they did. And then your dad got deported, and, and you started fucking up, or what? Like No, I had already been fucking up, but not like that. Like, I didn't start getting into drugs until... Um, so, I had a question of federal case for some cocaine. For cocaine? Yeah, and, um... After that, you know, like, uh, I'm new to the system, new to everything. You yeah. know, I'm nervous, I'm scared, bro. Real shit. I got, I was scared. Yeah. You know, I'm not in the same thing as it didn't bad, you know, bro. No, bro, I was, I was scared, bro. Like, I didn't know what was going to happen. I knew I wasn't going to get, like, a fucking 20 years or nothing like that. Yeah, but, but you were just scared to just be locked up yeah, at all. Exactly. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, like, like, you don't... I hear about riots and people. And yeah, and people that. trying to kill you. You always hear stories. People yeah. trying to rape you and shit, like... Crazy I'm, shit, dude. I'm like, not trying to go that. I already know. As a kid, when you first go into jail, it's scary, bro. Like, I know. Yeah, I bro. And then not only that, everyone, everyone, um, uh, uh, they try to shout to you and shit, bro. Like, you know what I mean? They try to bulldog you. Yeah. Hey, homie, I mean, they give you soup. You know what I mean? All trying to punk you and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, like, what the fuck, right down? Like, homie, I mean, you ain't said one word to me since I've been here. You know, all of a sudden, as soon as they come, sir, and you want to jam me up. The you, you know? yeah. uh, that shit. So you caught the case, you went to jail, you had like a hard time in jail though, like the whole time? No, 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 no. So I caught the case and then I got out on pre-trial. Pre-trial? Yeah, I got out on pre-trial. So, you know what I mean? I was, but yeah, pretty much, like, I, that's when I was nervous. Um, it was honestly, it's, I never been so nervous as far as like, I'm a, I like to fight, to be honest. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? I'll get my ass whooped. You know yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, you honestly, win something, you lose something, right? Yeah. You know, exactly, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, bro, like, you put my ass on me, I'm gonna shake your hand afterwards. Yeah, respect. You know yeah, I know. I, that's how it should be. Like, it's a dead issue, dog. Yeah. It's never comes up no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, and, and, and people have done the same thing to me, though, when I whoop somebody's ass, you know what I'm saying? Or even I get my ass with, you know what I mean, real shit, dog, like, that's what's up, homie, like, I, uh, mad love for you, I didn't think you were, you were gonna put, you, you, you were gonna hit me, like, pretty yeah. much, he beat me with my ass, but I got my shit in on him, too, you know Yeah, yeah, you got your licks in. That shit right there hit me, like, hell yeah, I mean, like. Yeah, he gave you respect and yeah, shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've been there, too, man, I know how that feels. 
Fucking, uh, so like you got out on pre-trial, but when did you, how'd you start getting into like drugs and shit? Um, so like, uh, okay, so I went through like a phase where it was ecstasy. Yeah. And that was like pretty much my like, when I started partying, the so I'll be honest with you, bro, and I'm not really bragging and shit, but I, I, at 15 years old, dog, I had rats in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. I had a scholarship to the U of A, bro. What? Yeah, athletic, for, for my sports. I was a really good baseball player. This is another part of my life. That's dope, bro. Yeah, I was a really good baseball player, bro. Like, I had people, like, from other parts and other teams and shit that would come watch me play. That's Just tight, bro. Just playing shit. You know what I mean? Like, scouts and shit. See me play. Yeah, they come I watch. I would get invited. Yeah, I would get invited to go play in Mexico. I would get invited to go play in Phoenix. Like, I was really good, bro. Like, and I don't that, like, my energy and my vibe on the field, bro, was like, people love me, bro. Yeah. Because, like, I'm, like, just a goofball, you know? Yeah, you like, made it fun over there and shit. Yeah, especially when I'm playing the game, because I used to go to Pueblo right here. All oh, tight. Yeah, it's so fucking uh, Some fools that, that, that'll be on the opposite team and shit, like, I'll fuck around, you know what I mean? Like, well, here, fool. You push it to yourself and then hit the ball. Like, you know, yeah. the game and shit, and people just laughing and, you know, it's just having fun, but it was out of respect and all, so. What happened with the scholarship, though? Um, started making money, I started seeing the money, and. What, like um, slanging and shit? Yeah, 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 pushing and all that, so like. Man, fuck this shit, why am I gonna go, you know what I mean, when I'm doing this, you know, I'm being I'm not, I knew better. Yeah. That it's only gonna be a matter of time before they fucking slam me. Yeah. And shit, but to be honest, bro, I didn't give a fuck. Like the money and the party, the big females, the bitches, just everything, the lifestyle, I was just yeah. back to my head, bro, too much. To the point where I didn't give a fuck about nothing but my family and my money, that's it. Other than that, you know what I mean? Like, don't come at me with no shit because I will fucking pop out. Yeah. And I got homies that were too, you know, so. Damn. Yeah, so, bro. Like, once you got, so what did you start with? The ecstasy, and then, it, like, how did you get to, what, you smoke yeah, beans it now? Me, it was me, yeah, I smoke beans now. So, like, at first, um, it was, it was heroin, you know what I mean? Heroin at first? Yeah, yeah, so, like, okay, so, when I was, like, uh, 14, 15, I tried meth for the first time. Meth? At yeah. 15? At like 15 years old. Damn, that's young, bro. Yeah, so, um, uh, I tried that shit. I liked it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, damn, hell yeah. So, um, I didn't fuck with it for a while. You know what I'm saying? So then, now, boom, I tried heroin. You tried heroin yeah, after yeah. meth? Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck, fuck? Yeah, that shit is bomb as fuck. Like, I was just like, damn. But where was your parents at when all this was going on? They were around, you know they, I mean? Did they know that shit, though? No, like, hell no. Oh, you were keeping it like a secret? Yeah, like, I'd be Damn, like, uh, how do you even keep that a secret, bro? Like, because they, the they don't see you nodding out and shit, or like... Uh, no, I can't... Okay, so I didn't fuck... Like, I did it that one time, and I took it back. But it took me a long time for me to fuck with it again. Oh, so, like, you didn't do it for a long time, but you still knew the feeling you wanted. You were, like, thinking yeah, about it, exactly. kind of, like... You're like, fuck, I, I can't yeah, wait till like, that comes yeah, around again, gonna, like... I need to get a little caldito or this and that. Yeah. So then, uh... uh um, even when I started getting high on that shit at first, I wasn't on it like like I wouldn't even get withdrawals, bro. Like yeah, I wasn't on, I wasn't getting high like that. You know what I mean? Like I was just here and there type of shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But then it just little by little got to the point where you know what I mean? Like fuck, now now I need it. So then I caught my case, and that pretty much was is what sent me overboard. After three months in jail, what was it? Three months in jail? Uh, well, n no, like, so, 15 years old, I'm slanging. Oh, the three, three months of, like, slanging and all that shit? Yeah, no, 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 wait, what three months? He said, I thought you said that three months took you overboard or something. I don't know, maybe I heard you wrong, my bad. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, like, the, 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 it took, like... It took you three months to fucking fuck yourself up, you're saying? like. It took, okay, so I, I first got high on it when I was 15. Yeah. And I caught my case when I was 17, a few months from turning 18. So pretty much, like, right when I caught my case was when I fucking, I was scared. I was stressed out. I didn't know what the fuck to think. I didn't know what the fuck was going to happen. So 
So then it, that's when I started getting that. So it's been about two and a half years from when I first tried it to when I got strung out on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, and then this too. The first time I tried it, I liked it. <laughs> You, you, yeah. yeah, but uh. But okay, so the first time I smoked it, I liked it. Oh, you could talk louder, bro, because it uh, can't really pick it up on okay, here. Okay, so the first time I I, I smoked uh I did G, I liked it. Um, the second time that shit just did not hit me the same, bro, and I did not like it. Hold on. Like um. Yeah, so so after that, bro, um, I I, I didn't like it, dog. I really did. So I really didn't fuck with it like that. Here and there I would smoke, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You take me here, but you know, it wasn't, honestly bro, it wasn't until these beans fucking came around that I really started getting high on them shit. When the beans came around? Yeah, because I couldn't fucking wake up, bro. I could not fucking wake up, so. What do you mean, like you couldn't wake up off the beans? Yeah, like, I, I couldn't like function pretty much, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, they kind of took over, huh? Yeah, exactly, so. That's what they do, they're like a demon, dude. They just yeah, get a hold bro. of you and they don't let you go. And, 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 and it's crazy because we know what it does to us, but yet we still go back to it. Yeah, yeah, you, you know how bad it's fucking you yeah. up, but you can't get off it because yeah, yeah, it you know, makes you say you depend on it, like you uh -huh. need it. Exactly. Your and fucking I'm, body will be in pain without it and shit. And, like, and, my cousin and, died off that shit. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear yeah, that. Yeah, it was fucked up. She was like, she oh, was geez. yeah, yeah she was she was a good nice girl dude. she never like did drugs before and then she got her boyfriend got her into that oh, shit hell no, what a bitch yeah he's a bitch bro. asshole and she died and shit sorry bro. ass motherfucker yeah. i bet you didn't even give a fuck dog. he didn't dude he didn't at that's all that's fucking crazy bro yeah. damn he was slaying it he didn't even do it he just like got her to try it and she fucking you know got you hooked do after that, that. You know you do that bro. Like, come on now yeah that's crazy i'm sorry to hear that bro. i'm sorry good, man I would never do that to nobody. You know I mean? Yeah. And it's like I tell people, like me, I live for my future generation and the females of my family. Yeah. And you That's actually, you want to do good in life. Like I could tell that yeah, you want to do better. Do. You want to get off drugs, right? I do, bro. I really do. Like, it's just, I'm at the point already, bro. Have you tried any like treatment or like trying to go yeah, to rehab? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh you're good. Buddy. I went to, uh, I've, been, I've been to detox one. Detox? Yeah, and then I, I ended up going to this fucking uh, uh, one place. Um, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it, it, it's pretty much like, uh, it's kind of like detox, but it's not, it's basically the next step after detox, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I did that, and you know, it got to the point, bro, where I, I just, I couldn't do it, dog. Like, yeah, it's, I was, it's too hard. Yeah, it was too much, dog, it was just too much in, in my head and shit, and, and like, it's a boxing, bro, like, that shit made me fucking like, Makes you fall out. It made me dull, bro. Like my girl said that she would see me, and she literally sees no emotion. Yeah, like you have no it's nothing I in your nothing, eyes. Bro, like you're nothing, just like dead. Bro. Yeah, like I was like I'm a zombie and shit. Yeah, pretty much, bro. That's what she said. I'm watching TV, too, and I'm not like uh, you're not like, even paying attention to it. You're I'm, just I'm, like yeah, I'm looking at it, but I'm not looking at it. You yeah. Know what I mean? And I just like what do beans like, even make you feel like? They give you like that. Uh, um, you're on cloud nine and shit, like you're floating. And you like know, a physical, like thing, yeah. like you really feel like you're floating and shit. Yeah, like, bro, like, like your you body's know. all weightless and shit. Yeah, just you know no pain, nothing. nothing it's kind of like heroin. I don't even know how heroin, but that's what I've been yeah, told. Like exactly. it's like a pain reliever, right? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly, bro. It's the same shit, bro. It's, yeah. opium, it's the same thing, G. So like, it, it, uh, it, it, it's the same thing. It, 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 it gives you that, you know what I mean? Like you're floating. And yeah. Constantly itching, uh, and uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro. And, and that's why a lot of people get addicted to it because they like that feeling, they want that feeling. Yeah, that's crazy. Do you have any plans to try to get off that shit now? I do, bro. Like honestly, she and my girl, she's pretty much. Oh yeah, you have a son with her. Huh? She... Yeah, I have. So I have a twelve-year-old daughter. Okay, so yeah. I had her. I had her with another female. So then I ended up having a son with a different female, and you know what I'm saying? So now I have them two. And my girl that I got with, she has a daughter that's eight years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. Very good. My stepdaughter is, uh, or no, that's uh, my stepdaughter. She's like, uh, she's not eight, I believe she's like maybe like 10, I want to say 10, or 11. 
She just turned 11 in, in February. She just turned 11 in February. So, so my daughter, she, she's 12, and then my son just turned 10. Ow. Yeah, perfect. Right? Oh, you good? Yeah. So my son just turned 10 in, uh, in, in, in January. Oh, nice, huh? Or my, uh, not 10, uh, 4, my bad. See, bro, I hope you can get off that shit so you could be there for your kids. Yeah, you know, they yeah, need you, bro. They do. Like, they do. Really you sad. need them, too, man. Like, honestly, bro, that's pretty much what keeps me... That's what keeps I, you going. I tell my girl, like, if it wasn't for you and the kids, I'd either be dead or I'd be back in prison right now. Yeah. To be honest, like... Yeah, Especially man. you, like, uh, uh, her name's Alejandra. I was like, honestly, Alejandra, like, you really... You make me want to do better, you know what I mean? You yeah. bring out the better in me. Yeah, dude, a good you. female will do that to you. Yeah, and that's terrible. Like, I've been locked up twice since I've been with her. And, she, oh, yeah. bro, held me down. I mean, I, didn't, I haven't even checked my tablet yet, and I didn't have bread on that shit. You know that's what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I haven't even called her yet, bro, and I got bread on my shit. You oh, she hooks you up like that? Like... Yeah, takes care so, of you like, so like you don't got no one do you have anyone else that tries to help you out or yeah, take care of you so my family if you real quick bro long story short my family right now i mean they, they, i guess they have the reasons why they don't want me around but at the same time the way they went about shit and, and the way they fucking yeah the dude way people they like it, bro it's just like damn like they don't understand it they just see you like oh he's nasty he's dirty like he a yeah, fucking bum you know he, he, like, he ain't like shit. yeah like he ain't shit he's just he's he's, he's He's on the wrong path and he ain't coming back. Like that's yeah, how yeah, they don't yeah. even want to try to help you, bro. Like, well, yeah. some people they probably do, but they just don't think they can. They don't know how to yeah, do they it, don't know bro. how to. They don't. They need to. They don't know how to just give. Yeah, love they want to approach it. Yeah, they want to be like, no, you better do it. Like yeah, trying to. Type shit. Yeah, so yeah, they gotta give you love and shit, bro. Like. And the way I am, <laughs> what fuck you? I ain't doing shit. Yeah. You know I mean? Like, so they should already know. Like, y'all don't need to come. And it's the same shit every time, bro. And that's why I don't like to even go over there, bro. Because all I get done is degraded, put down, fucking like, makes me not even want to fucking be around. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, so so yeah, bro. You I need to have people that there. support you, that understand like what you're going through. It's my girl. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. At least you got her, bro. Don't lose that. And, like, and honestly, you gotta bro, keep that. Everyone tells me that shit, like, bro. You better put a baby in her. Yeah, bro. put a ring on her finger. Everything. Bro, so. And I honestly, bro, like. I ain't gonna lie, I treat that girl pretty, pretty good, bro. Like, she That's good, bro. Yeah, like, dude. people see that and they can tell Treat her you, as good as you can, man. Yeah, bro. Like, she can, like, love that girl, bro. That's I feel baby, you, bro. Like, I got a girl like that, too, man. Like, and that's what sucks you, hell yeah. It's like, but we go through hard shit. It sucks, dude, when she's gone. Like, I know how you, like... Yeah, I know how it feels to have a girl like that, bro. Like that's like it just makes you feel like you could do better and yeah, do everything. Yeah, it just brings out the best in you, dog. It makes yeah. you want to fucking do. Honestly, bro, I, I fucking. And then when they're gone, it's like the worst feeling yeah, in the world, it's like, bro. Yeah, like your man. life is over. Like damn, like. What am I gonna do? I know, I'm yeah. Like, you lose all your drive and everything, like. Everything, bro. It kind of inspires you to want to do better to like get them back or whatever, but. But 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 it's it's, it's like that's another task in itself. Yeah, it's like a whole thing. another fucking task. I feel you, bro. Yeah, so it's like fuck. I'm so, like, but that's man. good that you guys got uh, you got her like like you got it, bro. So. Yeah, and, and honestly, bro, like I, I, that's my baby, dog. I love that man. Yeah, and dude. Fucked up because last night we got into it, so that's why we haven't talked all day today. I hear you, bro. I'm yeah. kind of in the same situation with my girl right now too, man. Yeah, bro, it so, breaks my fucking heart, bro. Like, I feel you, bro. Like, this shit hurts. Like, yeah, no, I know I how it feels. I sometimes I cry myself to sleep. You cry yourself to sleep? Yeah. That's, that sucks, bro. Because she's not there. I just got like, used to, like... Uh, yeah, 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 you're used to them, yeah, and then when they're gone, it's like, presence. you're just alone, bro, like, yeah. I know, it sucks, dude. Like, I need to just touch her, like, I need something, bro. even when I'm playing, I put my butt out just so I can touch her, but, you know what I mean? I feel you 1,000%, bro, like, like now oh, I not my butt out, but, yeah, you know <laughs> no, I feel you, though, yeah. You're like, hell yeah, there's no baby right there. No, I feel you, bro. Yeah, so she, she, yeah, bro, it goes everything to me, bro. You'll be, yeah. People will tell you, too, like, if you know things, you know one thing that he loves you. Like, and I do because I've been talking about her and shit like and it's funny because I tell her she's like man oh she's cheating on me you're cheating on me like no dude I'm not like honestly it should you should hear you know what I mean how much I talk about you and this and that that's how I tell my girl I'm like I be bragging to everybody about you like she yeah. thinks I'm fucking fucking around trying to talk to girls I'm like nah I no, brag about it's you not, like, yeah, like, yeah, I be yeah. fucking telling everyone I show them pictures of you everything yeah like, yeah but. and to be honest bro like I've talked about her so much and she, I don't bring her around cause like she's too good for all that shit yeah motherfuckers think that I'm 
that it's a fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. just think you're lying, bro. Yeah, you're like, well, yeah, I wouldn't want to bring my girl around and shit like that either, bro. Yeah, bro. Okay. So, so finally, uh, two days ago, I brought her around my homies' uh, pad and shit. Because uh, that's what I've been saying that, and I just want her to know where, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where, to, where more than likely I'll be at if I'm not on the street. It's pretty much there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, when I drive around, you know, I'm like, well, here it is, guys, the myth, the legend, you know what I mean? It's the myth, the legend. And she starts laughing and shit, and everyone was like, damn, like, and they told her to, the like, girl, like, this kid fucking loves you, bro. Yeah. For real. And then after they got to know her and see how me and her were with each other, they told me the same shit, like, bro, like, that girl fucking loves you, dog, like, yeah. for real, like, you, need, you better not. Like, I'm not even losing her, I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, bro. But she's tired of me of dealing with this shit with me. Yeah, she don't. Two years, know. dog, of, of, of putting up with my bullshit. Yeah, it's going to be a while. I mean, like, it's, a, it's not an easy path. Yeah. It's not, bro. It's not. But honestly, yeah, I have faith that it's, it's going to... That's good. That's how I feel, too. I got faith that everything's going to be all right, exactly. man. Exactly. Like, I put it... I just got that feeling in me. Like, I don't know. Like, no matter how fucked up shit gets, I still feel, like, yeah, good exactly. inside you know, somehow. Like... like, like Put it on, God. It's because you know God got you, bro. Like, exactly. Hey, bro, you're dope, though, dude. Like, I never, like, seen someone like you that actually, like, really fucking yeah, cares about this shit. Oh, it's all good, bro. No, I know how it is, though. That's my anxiety and shit. I'm not like this. I just my anxiety is trying to guess it. Yeah. But, I mean, I like what, bro, you're, you're a cool ass dude, bro, and I respect what you're doing, G. Like, yeah, I really bro. do. And, and, yeah, you know, well, I want to get your story out there, bro, and see if fucking... I could get some kind of help for you, dog. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I be trying to get people to help, like, on my channel a lot, but no one really wants to kick and in. That's cool, bro. And honestly, but, like, you don't have to. I respect that. Just the simple fact that you getting my shit out there and everyone else's shit. Yeah, that to me is more than enough, bro. Real shit. Because yeah, bro, cause you could help some other kids exactly that could see this shit and be like, oh, man, like, hear your story. Like, that's fucked up. Like, I don't, yeah, gotta stay yeah, away man, from. Good, yeah, I don't want to touch good. those kind of drugs and shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, and, 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 and to me, God, that's worth like that's yeah, priceless, honestly, it bro. is because that can honest. affect a lot of people and you don't even you won't even yeah. know it you're just walking around not even knowing that you're affecting people's lives and yeah. shit yeah. yeah and at the same time you're doing the same for me yeah exactly, exactly bro me, i want to see you do good bro and, and honestly dude, like i really respect you doing what you do for uh other people in my position like yeah it shows that there's people out there that do care because yeah, sometimes bro. Sometimes people fucking they look down on you. They, and they, they say things, bro, where it's just like it's damn, fucked up. Like, yeah, like they talk to you like you're less than a human and shit. Yeah, bro. exactly. Like, damn, like your, your dog means more to yeah, you yeah. than human life. Like, yeah, yeah, I feel you, bro. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? But you know what it is, bro. And you know, what can we do? You just gotta keep pushing and move forward, you know, and look forward to the future, to be honest, because I know it is in mind perspective i'm in charge of my own future and i see something good coming here soon so oh, yeah it i will hope, definitely I, I, I hope it does are happen. you getting on that bus uh honestly uh i was going to but you no know, it's yeah. too late now so that's I'm cool gonna, i have to go somewhere else and shit. are you getting on the bus no nah, i'm not getting on the bus okay well yeah bro i mean yeah you got a phone number or something? So I, I could. I, I, uh, yeah, you can get my girl's number down, bro, because uh, I have a phone. Somebody stole my phone yesterday, bro. Yeah. Again. Again? That's fucked up. Bro, it's just like, when I see that. Yeah, where do you even sleep at night, bro? Wherever I can find a spot. Is anywhere on the streets and shit? Uh, on the streets, or, or, or sometimes like, I'll be uh, somewhere where I know somebody that'll, you know. Oh, yeah, they let you stay over there and shit, yeah. Because I'm respectful, bro. I'm not in a smoking house. I'm not yeah. going to go in your bathroom and smoke either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I'm in a smoke, I'm going to put my shoes on, go outside, and walk down the street. Yeah. And I'm not even going to smoke in the yard because it's just not. But how do you even get by? Like, how do you get money to uh, take shower? Like, how do you cook, get money to even feed your habit? Like, I'm boosting, dog. Boosting? You know boosting? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's crazy. I they don't even care no more. You just go up in there, grab a grip of shit, and walk out. I mean, yeah, but I, there's people that... They'll chase you out, yeah, but it's like the cops don't really do nothing about no, it, it seems like. No, they don't, bro. But, yeah. but lately they have been. Lately they've been on it, bro. Like, it's to the point where it's just like, damn, this was the that like... A few years ago? Yeah, well, yeah. it's because I haven't been on the South Side G in like six months. Yeah. And for that reason, because it's so hot out here. Yeah. I'm not going to put myself in a position. 
So I've been gone for six months. People that know me and see her, like, dude, what the hell? Like, you come from the dead or something? Like, you went back to the prison. Like, damn. Okay. So, like, um, I've been on the east side lately, so, like, and now I'm here, and you know, everything's been changed so much that out here I've been doing shopping stuff on the streets because I don't yeah. know anybody. You got food stamps? Uh, my girl has them. Oh, I that's good. My girl. That's good. She needs them more than I do, bro. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I need them too, but, nah, I want, I want her, like, I, well, what's her number? I'll just you can just say it in here and then I'll uh, save it. Five, five two zero. Oh okay. wait, actually don't say it in here because people are gonna watch this shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. oh, well, like, uh, uh, it wasn't five two zero, guys. Oh uh, yeah, no, it's six eight two. I don't know. Yeah, uh, six two three. I'll just wait till we hit, cut it off and then I'll get it. Yeah, for but, sure. Yeah, I'll get your number and then like I'll, or her number, whatever. And I'll try to hit you up if I can get any kind of help or something, bro. Like uh, food, whatever, clothes, food, money, yeah, hygiene, personal hygiene shit. Yeah, but honestly, bro. You, you I know, yeah, I know you don't even care about it's that, but like either way, dude. Do a follow-up interview. Maybe somebody made a comment on something they yeah. want to know more about. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm down. Because I feel like there's more shit, bro, that I could tell you that I didn't like. I didn't get to like the boosting aspect. Um, my whole baseball thing. Yeah, we bro, could. My mom was so happy when, she, when I had a meeting with them, dog. Like, man, that she was crying, bro, and I was like, what? Well, the for fuck? the baseball shit. Yeah, she, all the scholarship? Yeah, they called me to the principal's office and they said, hey, you need to call your mom. She yeah. used to be over here after school. I'm like, for what? I didn't even do anything, man. That's cr- I'm already starting to go off. Like, no, no, no. Hey, you thought you were in trouble? Yeah, so? they're like, look, some yeah. real people are here and they want to talk to your mom. They want to offer you a scholarship, dude. I'm like, what? What the fuck? Are you? Nah, you're lying. No, I'm like, yeah, bro, for real. Weed? Oh, no, no, no. no I don't even eat beans. Yeah, I like some bullets. I'm like, just pinto beans. Yeah, you know what I mean? Some beans are beans. But yeah, bro, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm really going to walk around with some pinto beans. Be like, yeah, I got yeah, something to give us some. Here you, you go. Know, like, no, that's how you pedal. <laughs> but uh, no, bro, so like, I call her. I don't tell her what's going on, so she gets mad. She's like, man, I better not be over there in this work for nothing. Yeah. She gets here, boom, introduced the scouts. And, the, and the, yeah, it was a scout that scouted me and the person who, like, was trying to... You're one of the like staff members that handles all that paperwork shit. Yeah. And had a talk with me a few months ago. Yeah, we like to offer some uh, scholar and I've had a scholarship, you know, for for baseball to be I don't, I don't. I don't. And, and um, so yeah, bro. That's pretty much how it worked. It was my mom and my stepdad that showed up. Okay. They started so, crying and shit. Yeah, my mom was like bawling and crying like shit. So proud, bro. So proud, and I fucked it up, dog. Fucked it up. It happens, so you know. It really does. So I mean, I wanted to like join like a little softball league or something, you know, just try to lose that touch, you know. Yeah, something keep like, that athletic yeah, fucking shit that, going, you know, man. And I want to push it down on my nieces and nephews, my siblings, you know what I mean? Like if I have another boy. Hell yeah, and I want to get my kids into sports too. Man. Yeah, bro. I mean, it's just it's like. As kids, bro, it don't matter what you play. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tell my stepdaughter, you know how you can play whatever you want. Like, I'll, I'll be there for you. Like, how my dad was there for me. Bro, my dad, everything I needed and wanted for my baseball shit, as long as my grades were good, my dad got it for me. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was our thing, is that you get rewarded for your hard work, so make sure your grades are in one. Because if they not, you're going to get mad when these two get Hot Wheels and you don't. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, bro, I don't want to take another little more of your time. I know you got Oh, it's good, bro. You're good. But oh, thanks okay. for the interview, man. We'll fucking do a yeah, follow up and shit. Tell me more about your yeah, life, bro. Yeah, I, like, I feel like there's more to that. There is, yeah, dude. I want people just to know and hear the good side. Yeah, if you got any last thing. words you want to say or like a message to anybody I mean, watching. I, I, like I said, bro, I just much love to you and yours, you and your people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it means a lot to me, you know. Somebody cares enough to even want to hear what I have to say. And that, that right there in itself, especially about me and my life. So, you know, I hope that people, you know, can understand and, and just know. And even the people I don't fuck with, I just know that some of us aren't as bad as people portray us to be. Some of us are actually real good, humble people. We just got caught up in a, in a fucked up situation. So, like, next time you see us in the streets or something, don't try to, like, degrade us or run us over. You know what I'm saying? Or anything like that. Like, you know, we're humans too, and you know, we so a lot of us want to do better, but it's just hard. But like I said, bro, a lot of respect to my oh, family, yeah, everyone, myself, and uh, you know, triple salute.
Oh yeah, bro, appreciate it. Bro. All right, my dude. Hey, bro. All right. Oh, I go by Benny. Benny? Yeah, my real name's Carlos. Nice to meet you, man. My name's Brishin. Brishin? Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my bad, huh? Uh, nice to meet you, bro. Uh, you too, man. Brishin? Yeah, it's a crazy name, huh? Yeah, no, that's my real name, man. Nice to meet you. Hell yeah.